Chapter 4.1 is basically um, conversions dealing with Celsius and Fahrenheit. So here I have the two Celsius and Fahrenheit formulas written down. You, these are given to you on your formula sheets, but you might want to jot them down just in case. So the Celsius formula is 5 ninths times Fahrenheit minus 32. The Fahrenheit formula is 9 fifths Celsius plus 32. It's essentially the um, Celsius formula kind of reversed. And you can get the Fahrenheit formula from the Celsius formula fairly easily um, using just a, a bit of um, simple algebra, which I'm, I won't show you, but that's all right. First of all, I want to go through uh, an example here. If I have zero degrees Celsius, because that's kind of an important um, temperature, especially in Canada where it's cold. So zero degrees Celsius is equal to how much Fahrenheit? Well, if I'm going to try to figure out what the Fahrenheit is, I'm going to have to plug the zero degrees Celsius into my Celsius for my Fahrenheit equation here. So I have 9 fifths times my Celsius degree, which is zero, plus 32. 9 fifths times 0 is 0, and 32 plus 32 is just 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So 0 degrees Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And an easy way to remember that is just to remember the formula. If I know that Celsius is being multiplied by something, and if it's 0, 0 times whatever is gone, and then I'm just left with the 32. All right. First example, convert 35 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. So which formula am I going to use? I'm given the Celsius, I want to convert to Fahrenheit. I want to try to find out what Fahrenheit is. That's right, I would use the second formula. So I start out with Fahrenheit is equal to 9 fifths Celsius plus 32. Next, I just work through the formula. What is my Celsius? Oh right, it's 35. So again, I'm going to have to replace the C the Celsius degrees with 35. So I have Fahrenheit is equal to 9 fifths times 35 plus 32. Good idea to use your calculator. So I go 9 divided by 5 for 9 fifths, multiplying it by 35, and then adding 32. So using my order of operations, and I get 95 degrees. So that's 95 degrees Celsius. Sorry, Fahrenheit. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. So that's Fahrenheit. So I converted my degrees from Celsius, 35 degrees, to Fahrenheit. So 35 degrees Celsius, which it does get sometimes in can loops, can get up to 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which is pretty hot. But can loops is a pretty warm town. Next thing we do is convert 59 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. So 59 degrees, which formula am I going to use? And I'm converting to Celsius, so I want to figure out what my Celsius is. That means I'm going to use the first formula, the 5 ninths Fahrenheit minus 32. So I have Celsius is equal to the 5 ninths Fahrenheit minus 32. Notice right off the bat, we take our Fahrenheit degree and subtract off 32 degrees, or 32 from it. So I have 59 degrees Fahrenheit. That value is going to go in for my Fahrenheit there. So I have Celsius is equal to 5 ninths times 59 minus 32. So first thing I do is I subtract. I do the inside of the brackets first. So I have 59 minus 32. Don't forget order of operations. Is equal to 27. So I have 5 ninths times 27. Next thing I do is I want to take 5 over 9, divide them, and then multiply by 27 which is 15 degrees. So I have 15 degrees is my Celsius, and that is how you convert Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit.